Hello everyone and welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. This is your December love reading for 2016. Well, the year's almost over, another month to go. Today is actually the um, 29th. Um, I would like to thank everyone for all their support and everything that was done for my channel um, during this year. Um, I started off in March, uh, roughly there, and it's been it's been amazing. I would like to really, really thank everyone from the bottom of my heart, and um, I do wish you all to have a wonderful Christmas, happy holidays. Um, may all the Lord's blessings come to all of you in whichever way you're you're um, dreaming of. I hope that your dreams are fulfilled and that uh, you are all able to start the new year off on, a, on the right foot um, and in a very positive way. Positive thinking is a must always. Um, that's what gets us through every day. Um, the energies are just wonderful. I can feel it. Um, and I also want to thank especially the people who bought readings from me and the people, my clients, who keep coming back to me. I appreciate all of your support and I hope that I was able to help everyone up to this point. Um, I think that that's all I will be talking about. I won't be talking about astrology um, at the moment because... It's just been really crazy. I'm going to be able to do a little bit, you know, readings that are a bit longer yeah, very soon, but just bear with me. Um, so I'm trying not to make these readings too long for December. It's just um, there's so much to do. Again, thank you all and uh, do keep well and I will be talking to you very soon. Now let's go on to the readings for you all. Oh Capricorn, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you for visiting my channel. This is your December 2016 love reading. And uh, a happy birthday to those of you who are having their birthdays at the end of the month. I wish you all the best for the new year as well. Happy birthday to all of you and all the best. Okay, for December, just this card doesn't want to go in. I have to look at it. What is it? Hmm, Nine of Wands. Okay. Capricorn, please. Show me what's happening with Capricorn for the month of December in relation to love. Okay, and there is a fly which is flying all around me. It's been very hot here in in Sydney today. Capricorn, Capricorn. December. How's their love life? Finishing up for the year of 2016. There's a lot of movement. What's happening? One more shuffle for my dear Capricorns. My hard working, very impressive, impressive people Capricorns are love you guys earth sign very um you you guys are the goats you want to get to the top you just capricorn okay it's 
see what's at the bottom of the deck. We've got the Four of Pentacles. You can see that, okay. Now, first card down is the Ace of Swords. Then we've got the Strength card. That's the, um, the Crossing card. At the Foundation, we've got the Four of Wands. At the Near Past, we've got the Four of Cups, which is in the reverse. Um, crown in your reading is the Five of Pentacles, but it's in the reverse, which is good to see. In the near future, we've got the Ace of Cups, which is great to see. And in the advice position and how people see you as the King of Swords. Then we've got the Judgment card. It's funny because Sagittarius got that card in the environment position, same spot. That is funny. So those of you that are on the cusp, it's speaking to you very strongly. Now the Queen of Pentacles in, is the Hopes and Fears position. And um, the Ace of Wands is in the reverse. I won't be pulling any clarification cards this month. I'm trying to make the, um, the readings a bit shorter. Now the Four of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. And I will be right back in a minute. Thank you. Hey Capricorn, I am back. Now the first card that was put down for you is the Ace of Swords. This is a moment of clarity, the truth coming to light, a new beginning. We've got three aces. We've got the Ace of Swords, we've got the Ace of Cups here, and we've got the Ace of Wands there. Okay, clarity, information, beginning, success. This card is all about success. Now, it looks as though you are able to tame the lion. You have got the, the card of Leo, which is crossing you, but it's in the upright. Now your challenge is either to be patient, which Capricorns, I would say, they are patient, so maybe you just need more strength. Um, maybe you need more drive, more wisdom, maybe because this woman has got to be very wise to be able to tame this line. It's not only strength that we're talking about here, it's wisdom as well. It is patience, it is wisdom, and it is strength all in one. So your challenge is to be able to conquer this beast. Now, you will be able to. From what I can see from your cards, you are coming out of some sort of hardship, a moment where clarity has come forth clarity of success maybe that is why we've got the strength card here you are getting your strength from this clarity from this success and you are moving through December in a much more um, much more stable more sort of an inspirational push drive towards the success in your love life. Now I can see in the near past that this offer, which is usually in the Four of Cups, which is not being noticed even though it's being offered, and this is the universe making the offer, maybe the offer has not come in yet in the past, had not come in, and that's where you felt a little bit impatient, um, a little bit more introverted, a little bit more holding on um, because we've got this we've got this card here at the bottom of the deck, the four of Pentacles. This is the miser card, right? He feels as though he doesn't have enough. He's holding on to his pentacles. So I'm thinking that this is you. Now so you're holding on tightly to something which is very, very important to you because, let's face it, you know, pentacles in our life, it could be anything. It could be monetary gain. It could be anything that is physical in our life. We are speaking of a relationship here. So, and this is a four. Fours are all about our foundation, our roots, our home. 
So you are holding on to something very tightly and beneath this card we had the Ten of Swords. So something's obviously come to an end. There is an ending because we got to the Ten. Something that was difficult for you but you are coming out of that um, because the Ten is the culmination of the situation. So there is a new beginning. Look, we've got the Ten. And then we've got the one, because the ten breaks down to a one, doesn't it? There's the ace of swords. There's the, what you're waiting for, a new beginning. And that is on the horizon for you. For those of you that are coupled, you've been through a, some hardship. This is you and your partner. When it is in the upright, it's a feeling of lack, a feeling of being left out in the cold, not having enough, not being open enough, um, not sharing, not giving, there is someone was holding back for some reason. The clarity probably was something that was important, maybe there was miscommunication and that's why uh, we had the Ten of Swords there. Um, but thank goodness for that, this card is in the reverse. So. You know, when it's when the, the the cards are in the reverse, to me it looks as though we're taking a step back. So this is a step back, as is the Four of Pentacles. So I feel that this card is very strong in your reading regarding the importance of something within your foundation, within your your family, your relationship. Okay, if it's only a relationship and it's not a family based situation. So we are coming out of this Five of Pentacles and at the root of the situation there is the Four of Wands. Now the Four of Wands is usually a very happy card. It talks about stability. Again, it's a four. It talks about celebrations. It could be a wedding. It could be an engagement. For some of you, I feel as though something happened with the... Um, the organizing of a wedding, a wedding ceremony or an engagement party or something like that and there was a little bit of trouble there but it's all going well. Um, this is in the upright so that is a good sign um, and especially you know having the five of pentacles in the reverse. Very very good. Okay, so this card is in the upright, which makes me think that all will be good in the end because this is the foundation card, okay, and all the rest of the cards stem from this position. So there is stability there. It is in the upright. If it was in the reverse, it would be a different story. Now, in the near future, the Ace of Cups, whatever is happening within your life, your cup will be running over. It will be overflowing with abundance of love and happiness and joy. Beautiful card, absolutely. This is blessed from the universe. Capricorn, I think because you guys work so hard, you deserve all of this good, uh, good karma that is coming to you because this is about karma. Now, in the advice position, how people see you, this is the King of Swords. This person is a very righteous king, he's a very fair king, he does not put his heart, he does not wear his heart on his sleeve. He does hold back a little bit, but when he rules, when he judges the situation, you know that he's coming from a fair place. Okay, now this is truth. He's all about truth. He's very wise, he's very intellectual, this king. He knows his business. And this could be an Aquarius, Gemini or Libra, man or woman in your life. Someone who is quite aloof, does not show their feelings very easily. But the fact that he is there in the upright means that he's in it for the long haul. Kings are people who are, they know their business. They've been there, they've been through the whole, the whole cycle. Their experience, they're the kings. So, positive character. 
within your reading. Now, in the environment position and how people, um, in the environment position, sorry, and what's external to you is the judgment card. The judgment card is all about an uprising, reborn, someone is being reborn, they're beginning again from the start, practically, they are, um, they are becoming aware of a situation maybe that was in their life and they maybe they looked at it from a different sort of a perspective. Maybe they're shifting their perspective, whoever is rising up from the ashes here. This is your angel calling. Okay, it's time to wake up and look, look at the situation. A new beginning. Now your hopes and fears is the um, the Queen of Pentacles and this is you guys because this is Capricorn, Earth sign. She's a beautiful queen, loving, nurturing, giving, um, patient. She has all the virtues in the world. She's just so, she's so respectful and so um, I did say giving, but she gives more than what she's able to give. She gives everything away. She keeps nothing for herself. That's what kind of a character this person is. Okay, but it says that she's very abundant, so she's very um she's very lucky that she has everything that is necessary for her in everything to to um to be able to give. So she's very abundant in all aspects of her life and she's also in the position of being able to give to the others, to the ones, to the people who are less fortunate. And this is the energy that you have, Capricorn, and you are hoping to be able to stand, st actually sit on this throne and be the one to be able to help the ones that are in need. Okay? Now, in the... Um, the final card is the Ace of Wands, but it's in the reverse. Okay, so this shows a lack of passion, I would say. A lack of a drive. Maybe there is something that is not, not right, not 100%. Okay, when the card shows up, even though it's in the reverse, you're halfway there. That's how I see the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Okay, and you are Earth. So you are not like a fire sign who is spontaneous and they get up and they move straight away. You know, they think of something, they're inspired by something because that's what the Ace of Wands is. The Ace of Wands is, yes. It's inspirational. It's, um, it's passionate. It's, it's the drive. It's the will to go forward. Okay, a new beginning. Maybe you're being a little bit thoughtful before you move forward. And that's how, as I said, earth signs always put their mind before their wants and their needs. They think before they move forward. So I think this is you just taking a little bit of care. Okay, now let me look at the Sabilas. Now, for some of you, we are talking about a Leo, because we've got the strength card there. For others of you, it could be another earth sign, could be another Taurus, another Capricorn, or another Virgo. And for others of you, we are talking about an air sign. Okay. Now, if this is not your partner, it's someone who is in the legal system, um, if some of you are thinking of speaking to a lawyer or something like that, I don't think you're going to be going forward with divorce proceedings, even though, because we had the Ten of Swords there, even though uh, this could be the case for some, I don't feel as though it is. Some of you may be getting advice by a legal, by a lawyer, a solicitor, but I don't think that you're going ahead with a separation.
for those very few of you that are going ahead with it, because we've got the judgment card there, um, you will be okay. Financially, you'll be fine and your heart will be content with the outcome. For most of you, though, I don't think that there is a divorce here. Let me look at the judgment card. So Spiri, which is like the Three of Wands, someone is waiting and hoping and just wishing that, you know, what they're waiting for will, will come forward, will come soon. Uh, Imenel, which is the the card of relationship, contracts, love, marriage, all those things. And Gran Consolacion now. I'm so happy to see that. Beautiful, beautiful. All these three cards are very positive cards. So you're going to be reborn. There will be a culmination of taking your relationship to the next level. Whatever hindrances um, came forward, we're moving past that because this is a, a card of waiting. So whatever whatever was, um, you know, doubtful in the past, in the near past, with the um, Four of Cups in the reverse, maybe you guys are waiting on an offer of marriage and it just wasn't coming through and then bang with the ace of swords with the ace of swords the clarity came the offer came in and that's why you've got so many you've got three aces right because here is the relationship card this is the card of marriage engagement and Gran Consolacion is one of the most positive cards in the Sibylas Okay, you have many choices. So you're going to be reborn because this offer is actually coming in, coming through. Um, there's not a lot that I have to look at. I will just look at this Four of Pentacles because it is a very positive reading indeed, Capricorn, for the month of December. I'm so happy to see it. Let's look at the Four of Pentacles. Okay, Dottore, which is the card of healing. This could also be a solicitor as well. Uh, a doctor, a solicitor. Okay, healing. Artista, this is another person who is a lot... This person is putting a lot of thought into the matter. It's like uh, this guy reminds me of the uh, King of Swords. Okay, this could be your partner. He could be someone who sits behind a desk, someone who's quite important, a VIP. Um, or for those few of you that may have been to see a lawyer, that's the case here. Prigione. Prigione means someone who is bound or tied or can't move. Maybe that's why we've got the Four of Pentacles. Someone was having difficulty in moving and that's why they were clinging on to those pentacles. Okay, so they felt bound by something. I'm going to pull one more card though, just for more clarity. Okay, so as soon as the news came in, because this is the letera, as soon as the news came in, and that is with the Ace of Swords here, the shackles came off. Okay, the hardship went away. So whatever news had come in, it was very positive news. Okay, and from then on, you guys start moving forward. I am just, my feeling just says I'm going to pull one more Sabila after the letera. I just need to take one more. <laughs> La Mante, the lover. There you go. So the news was from your partner. Okay, so for some of you whose partner was tied up in a previous relationship and that's why you were clenching on so tightly to them, they were bound by something. It was either 
legal papers, a divorce or something like that, they've come forward because the news is good so you are moving forward. That's why there is the judgment card here. You are being reborn. Okay, so for all of you it's going to be different. You know, all there are so many situations um, because there are so many people who view these videos. It's just impossible to, um, you know, to, to say one story. There are so many stories here with all these tarot cards. I will just pull the on the Ace of Wands. Why it's in the reverse I'd like to see and I will leave it at that for you for December. So there is healing after a period of hardship. Okay, there is a new beginning. Let's look at this Ace of Wands. Consolante Sopresa, which is something that comes out of the blue. Some, this, this reminds me of Uranus. Something that comes just out of nowhere, surprisingly. It's usually a positive card. Delerante. This could be a positive or a negative. I see it as a positive card. Someone is quite delirious regarding something that comes out of the blue. Something that is very surprising and it's usually, as I said, a positive surprising thing. And Belvedere. So... Something has come out of the blue, you are very delirious, but you are waiting to actually materialize it, to grasp it. Okay, so this woman is on the lookout, she's waiting and hoping. So we're probably still waiting on this judgment. Okay, we're waiting on one final thing for our December, for our love life, Capricorns. Okay. I will leave it at that. Um, I will not be pulling an angel card this month because I'm trying to keep these readings short because I'm running a bit late as usual. Um, I thank you all so much. Keep well. Uh, enjoy your month of December. For those of you that are in love and their cup is overflowing, um, I am so jealous. Good on you guys. Okay, keep well and I'll be talking to you soon, Capricorns. Bye-bye.